Hello children, welcome to Marvelous Maths. I am Sunil. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to subtract. Here are 8 pencils. If I take away 1 pencil, how many pencils are left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. 7 pencils are left. Now, let's take out one more pencil. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six pencils are left. If I minus one more, how many pencils are left? One, two, three, four, five. We have five pencils left. Now, I subtract 1. How many pencils are left? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 pencils are left. For subtraction, we use the minus symbol. Here are 7 yellow ribbons and 5 red ribbons. What is the difference between the number of yellow ribbons and red ribbons? To find the difference, the larger number must minus the smaller number. 7 is the larger number. So 7 minus 5 equals 2. Very good. So the difference in number between the 7 yellow ribbons and the 5 red ribbons is two ribbons. You can write the number sentence in two ways. Look at these number sentences. Can you find the pairs of numbers that have a difference of three? In the first number sentence, what number must we take away from three to give us an answer of three? Yes, three take away zero gives us 3. In the second number sentence, 5 minus what number equals 3? Correct again! 5 minus 2 equals 3. Let's look at the third number sentence. What number must be subtracted from 8 to give an answer of 3? Yes, 5 subtracted from 8 gives 3. And the last number sentence, 10 minus what number equals 3? Very good, 10 minus 7 equals 3. Now, let's do subtraction using the number line. You know what a number line is, don't you? As you can see in the diagram, there are two arrows, one above the line and another below. What number is the arrow on top pointing at? Yes, it is pointing at 4. And the arrow below starts from 4 and then goes backwards touching 3, 2 and ending at 1. Back to the top arrow. Since it is pointing at 4, this means our number sentence will be 4 minus. Now, follow the bottom arrow from 4. We see that the arrow moves. 1, 2, 3 spaces ending at 1. This means 4 minus 3 equals 1. So when you see a number line, you must remember the top arrow points to the bigger number. The number of spaces that the bottom arrow has moved indicates the smaller number and where it ends is the answer. If I have 10 pencils and I give 4 pencils to Zahid, how many pencils will I have left? Let's write the number sentence. I have 10 pencils and I give 4 to Zahid. 
That means 10. Take away 4 equals to 6. So I have 6 pencils left. Now, let's look at all the things we learnt about subtraction. Subtraction uses the minus symbol. Remember? Take away 1. 7 take away 1 is 6. Subtract. Subtract 3 from 10 and the answer is 7. Take out. Take out 2 erases from 9 erases. How many erases are left? So we take out 2 from 9 and we get 7 erases. Minus 6 minus 4 equals 2. Number line. This is a number line. Remember? The arrow above the line is pointing at 7. And the arrow below starts from 7 and goes backwards, touching 6, 5, 4, and ends at 3. So we have 7, take away. The bottom arrow moves 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces, ending at 3. 7, take away 4, equals 3. What is the difference between 8 and 1? To find the difference, we have to minus the smaller number from the bigger number. 8 minus 1 equals 7. So the difference between 8 and 1 is 7. Encik Samad bought 9 apples. 3 were rotten. How many apples could be eaten? So, 9 take away 3 equals 6. 6 apples could be eaten. Calculate the difference between 8 and 10. Finding the difference means subtracting 8 from 10. So 10 minus 8 equals 2. Karina ate 6 pieces of chocolate. Julia ate 2 pieces of chocolate less than Karina. How many pieces of chocolate did Julia eat? Karina ate 6 pieces. And Julia ate 2 less. To find the number of pieces Julia ate, we subtract 2 from 6, giving an answer of 4. So Julia ate 4 pieces of chocolate. Jenny buys 7 buttons. Susie buys 3 buttons. How many more buttons does Susie need to buy to have the same number as Jenny? Jenny has 7. And Susie has 3. So to find the number of buttons Susie needs to buy, we take away 3 from 7 and we get 4. This means Susie needs to buy 4 more buttons. Then Susie will have the same number of buttons as Jenny. Look at the number line and write the number sentence. Arrow above the line points at 8 and the arrow below the line points at 5. We know 5 is the answer. The number sentence will be 8 minus 3 equals 5. Bing Chong has 5 shirts. Ravi has 2 shirts. How many more shirts does Bing Chong have compared to Ravi? Bing Chong has 5 shirts, while Ravi has 2. 
To find how many more shirts Peng Chong has, we must minus 2 from 5, and we will get 3. Well, that's all for now. Don't forget to do your homework. Bye!